Hello and welcome back to Dragon Age. In the last episode we gave everyone gifts and now most people love us. We now just have to talk to Ogren to see what he has to say. There you are. Wanted to talk to you. What about? You and I, we've... You know how sometimes you spend time with people and things. Hmm. Take your time, what is it? I was thinking... Uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. A girl I knew in Orzammar. Before I left, obviously. A girl you knew, or a girl you knew? What? Oh, you mean, were we rutting? <laughs> oh, I. After Bronca left for the deep roads. Name's Felsey. She was a fiery one. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought maybe I'd track her down, see how she's been living. Do you know how to find her? I tried to look her up the last time we were at Lake Kalanhod. She wasn't at work at the inn. At home with her sick mother, they said. I figured uh. it was just the ancestors telling me something. But I keep thinking about her. We can go back. Well, and a good friend you are, Warden. I'll think about you if we ever... Uh, no, actually, that <laughs> would be gross. Uh, what was it you wanted to say? I'd like to know more about you. What about? Oh, your helmet's gone. How'd you like the surface? It's sodding great. At first I was a little queasy with all that air, but there's just so much of it. No one has any idea who you are or what you're doing. And the ale? Oh, who'd have thought? Ale made with grain. <laughs> Aye, the surface is great. It's like a big, bright world of filth without a ceiling. My kind of place. Hey, let's go find something to kill, huh? All this talk makes my hands twitchy. Cool. Twitchy hand. Ogren's old flame. Ogren has told you about an old friend called Felsey who has left the surface about a year ago. Ogren and Felsey did not part on good terms. Now that he's on the surface, he wants to look her up to see if she can forgive, forgive him. She lives near Nate Cannonhead. Come to talk to old Ogren, have you? Don't know why. What's wrong, Ogren? Nothing. I'm fine. Just, uh, I got a hornet in my eye is all. That's kind of strange. Did you want to talk about something? More about you. What about? Do you miss Orzammar? What? Miss Orzammar? Are you mad, in addition to being ugly? <laughs> they treated me like a puddle fly back there. I'm never going back. Talk about something else. Alright. More later. Aye. Alright then. Pull up a drink, Warden. Join me in my sodding hole. Can you teach me to fight like you do? You want to be a berserker? <laughs> Thought I'd never see the day. You're a monster on the field already, Warden. But your style just doesn't give itself to mad rage. Too much thinking, too much, uh, what you call it, uh, finesse. But if you know someone fit for this type of work, I'll teach him. It'll be nice to have another berserker to grunt at for a change. Tell me about berserkers. What the sod is there to know? You get mad, you fly into battle, and things die. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Yeah, it does sound The hard part easy. is getting in touch with your rage. We all learn to hold that back. It's why we don't kill every duster who looks at us sideways. You need to shut that off. For some people, being in battle is enough. But others have to think about something. Violence, monsters, nobles, your wife. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Your wife? <laughs> I, especially my wife. Just thinking about it works? Well, for most berserkers it does. Several years ago I worked with a berserker on one expedition. Just couldn't work himself up. We had to kick him in the stones before <laughs> he could get going. How? What would you fight that way? Why not? When you fight, you get mad. By the stone, it's a sodding tactic to enrage your enemy so he makes a mistake, right? Berserkers grab that anger and drink it like it's yesterday's ale. 
Then we turn it against our foes and watch the limbs fly. Let's talk about something I'm else. listening. More about you? What about? What's it like being a warrior in Orzammar? You get a sword or an axe and are told to go out and defend your city. It's the best thing in the world. That is until you try to live in the city you saved. What do you mean? I mean, they train you to kill, teach you to harness your rage at the first noise you hear, then try to set a hundred sodding rules about it. Uh. Like those provings. <laughs> Ancestors show their favor through the strongest arm, right? So why so many rules saying how to fight and when you win and not to bloody kill? Killing's what swords are for. I see what you mean. You toss a nug to a deep stalker, you don't expect it not to eat the thing, right? <laughs> Wait, this what? makes me cranky. Don't you have any other inane questions? Uh, let's talk about All right. some time. Talk more later. Hi. All right then. Okay then. Berserker. Would you like to make love What's to on your mind? Berserker? Like to know I will answer to the best of my ability. Nothing. You have not sucked so much. Right, Sevran. Where are you? There you are. You are at 92. You can have the... Leather boots. Mmm, that smell! This is uneven leather, isn't it? I would know that anywhere. <laughs> I don't know how you found it, but thank you. You're quite welcome. Now, if only you could find me a prostitute or two, a bowl of fish chowder, and a corrupt politician, I'd really feel like I was home. <laughs> <laughs> and they fit as well. Marvelous. Are you 100% yet? Yes, you are. Let's have a talk, shall we? See if you've got anything to say. What say you? Get asked questions. By all means. Move on. What say you? Again? I'm game. Never mind. I don't know. Both commoner, save. Alright, I guess we'll stop here. Um, in the next episode, I think I shall be giving some gifts to people off screen so they don't have to keep watching me give to the gifts. Um, I'll come back in if there's like a special scene. So, yeah, see you then.